you know, when he said that, he's like, it's okay if you still love him. Like, when he said that it is okay to feel that way, it made me kind of be like, well, damn. I can stop beating myself up now. <laughs> Greetings, my kindred. So, we are back at my parents' house. So, you guys know that I was going to a wedding this weekend. I went to my uncle's and my aunt's wedding. I did not vlog. Please don't hate me. And I had like a really, really, really good time. It was so beautiful and it felt so good to just be around family and just be. Cause when your girl's in camera mode, she's in camera mode. The camera always in her hand. And I didn't wanna do that. I just wanted to be. I really just wanted to de-stress and just be. And it felt so good to be around my family. But as of right now, I'm literally just having me some breakfast. I'm eating some corned beef hash and um, got me some nice coffee with some caramel macchiato creamer. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all like my hair? Oh my god, tell me. Cause I know my hair cute is fire. You know what I'm saying? It's a 5x5 five five HD closure unit. Keeps it curly in the limbs of 28 inches. Super cute. I love it. Easy to put on, easy to install. Cause it's literally just a closure. Just put that baby on. Put some spray up there. You can either use got to be spray or the olive oil spray, like wig spray. Or you can use got to be gel. When it's dry, the curls are more put together. Um, it stays put together, but if you want like this messy, curly look, then you just go ahead and don't run your fingers through it, but you just pull the curls apart, and it'll give you like this effortless, like I just woke up in the morning, my hair is just this naturally flawless hair overall, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, yeah, that's all it for right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy my breakfast as much as I can. But baby, I'm ready for this jaw to be healed. I feel like I've been sitting down for too long. We ain't had it. So I just got out of the shower. I took my wig off and I decided that I was just gonna dedicate today to um, creating content. I have been in my Instagram for a little, a little lot of bit of time now and y'all already know why. Um, but that's okay because I'm ready to get back in the game. I'm ready to go hard. I want to create a new aesthetic for myself because my Instagram don't actually have an aesthetic, but that is okay because we are on this journey together of elevation. We're just going to elevate and um, take our brand a little bit more seriously. So yeah, I'm really excited to share with you guys what I know and what I'm trying to teach myself. If you guys have any other tips on how to take um, your photos and edit your photos, then leave the comment down below because me and your kindreds um, would love to be um, enlightened. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face first. Um, I'm gonna be using Jior skincare products. No, this is not sponsored. I don't even know the girl. I just really, 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 really like her stuff. Her entire line is just like popping. I use this stuff almost every day and I've been talking about it in a lot of my vlogs recently, so. I just figured I'd put that disclaimer out there. And um, after that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and my hair. I'm gonna be rocking, of course, the NLSA wigs. Follow the Instagram right here. We're gonna be doing a big promotion and a big sale for um, November, fall, Black Friday, Thanksgiving, all that good stuff. So, really excited about that. 
And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling because I know y'all really care about all this rambling stuff. I wanna get to the juice stuff, which is how I edit my photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, log into my Zeus account <laughs> and catch up on a dose of Drea while I like get myself together. And um, yeah, I'll just be back. I think I started something. I got what I wanted. something simple for my makeup and um, I also wanted to incorporate Merit's products because I wanted to tag them in my Instagram photo so yeah um, I'm most likely going to do a voiceover because there's so many dogs here so I'm just gonna do um, yeah like a voiceover and let you guys like watch the process and stuff um, I found when I found because this area was already cute my mom just had like pillows and stuff on her sofa I took the pillows off the color thing that she have in here is really, really cute I just didn't want like blues um like any blue colors but she has this really cute coffee table that i think is like the perfect place to um take filler photos like of jewelry and then like merits um makeup products and stuff so i'm gonna play around with this area right here this is the sofa that i think that is so cute and so chic that i i really feel like i'm gonna get some really cute pictures i might incorporate that tree over there that um yeah that tree over there somehow some way we're just gonna like play around and figure it out together because i don't really know what i'm gonna do but this is like a really great um foundation to take some really cute dope pictures for instagram i'm just going to run upstairs and get a ring light luckily she had a ring light here my mom is so clutch <laughs> i'm gonna go upstairs and get the ring light because i'm most likely gonna need some extra lighting because as you can tell it's pretty dark over there um and um yeah so this is the tripod that i'm going to be using i'm going to be taking pictures on my iphone um what is it 12 max pro 12 pro max or whatever uh, i'm going to link this down below in the description box um this is the tripod that i have absolutely love it because it's like adjustable you can do it sideways if you wanted to vlog you can do it up and down for your pictures it's like perfect and then this is the um ubz's whatever tripod that i'm going to be using for my camera so this is where you guys are going to be Instead of doing a selfie camera, I'm probably gonna have to turn the damn camera around. But I hate that because I can't see myself. Ooh, maybe if I can get the tree in the background. I think that would be nice. Hold on. I would be the one. I would be the one. All 
All right, let's see what those pictures look like so we can move on to the next um, thing. Because one thing you don't want to do, and one thing I do have a habit of doing, is staying in one pose, one scenery, one outfit for too long, and it just be a waste of time. I guess two or two right now, and class starts, so I'm about to log into class and still take my pictures because we just got to do it all. <laughs> Okay, so I have a lot of editing apps on my phone. If you guys want a list of all of them, just leave a comment down below and follow me on Instagram and I will share that on my Instagram story. But for the most part, I really love to use Visco on my photos, on every single photo actually, just to kind of like play with the filter of the photo. Um, I first like to decrease the exposure of the photo. I don't really like my photos to be super bright. And then I like to go ahead and play with the contrast. The contrast allows me to um, make the image more vivid by um, darkening the shadows. So like my hair looks darker. Anything like my outfit, it looks darker. And then I typically use the same exact filter. Not really sure what filter this is, but I use the same exact filter on every single photo. But sometimes I play with the intensity of the actual filter. And then that's really it. And then I like to move on to Facetune. Facetune, I love Facetune because it allows me to hide blemishes, smooth my skin, and also kind of like enhance my body parts. So like for this photo, I use Facetune to um, round out my boob area, like my cleavage area. To me, there's nothing really wrong with it, like in person, but for a photo, purposes um i used it to you know round out my boobs fill out my cleavage area and then even my waist area so like there's nothing like there's nothing wrong with this picture it's literally just for photo purposes you know i kind of want it to just look a certain type of way so i use the resize button to kind of just like bring in my waist just a little bit and then that's really it so like you can see the difference between the photo after using visco and facetune not much of like a crazy difference but you know just a little enhancement you know so that's really all that i do for um or that's all that i did for that photo so that picture was really cute i'm done with this little area i am going to now do my like filler content on the coffee table I can already tell that's gonna be fire. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it for um, Merit. This is, I told you guys about Merit maybe like two vlogs ago. So I wanted to get them an Instagram photo and tag them. And uh, yeah, she you about to do, we trying to, about to be creative. Mama got some really cute books. She has a lot of shit. Okay, so when I get a brain part, I go to, I've learned to just go to the brand's Instagram and see like what's their aesthetic because you don't want to just like take pictures for you. You also want the brand to repost your pictures. So they're only going to repost your pictures if your pictures matches their aesthetic. So I saw this picture. This picture is like super cute. I like this. And this is kind of like the aesthetic that I want to go for on my Instagram. So I'm going to save that and of course like it. <laughs> um super cute i'm gonna save that as like content inspo i have like photo albums i have tons of photo albums on or like saved albums on instagram i have like a quotes um album i have a home decor me album um i have a reels album like reels inspo i have a brand content album i got body inspo album <laughs> of like different doctors and stuff i have like a shops album a workout album an outfit ideas album i even had a couple's content album but it's cool and i have a nalapu album <laughs> y'all i even had a baby fever album oh my god and an atl foods album because i just moved to atlanta and i want to know like where to eat and I have vacay content, manifest album. Y'all, I got some me albums. Anyways, I'm going to save this underneath my brand content album. 
so yeah i'm gonna keep looking on their instagram for inspo obviously i'm not gonna like recreate the same exact shit but i'm going to look for inspo and it's not copycat and it's not jocking it's not biting it's just literally looking for inspo because yeah, shit, I'm a fucking, I'm new to this shit. I'm a beginner too, I need some inspiration. I don't I don't only aspire to inspire, I want to be inspired too. And that's okay. Why are you lying for? You won't cop them scores. Come on. I will fall on the force. Yeah, no. This life be a book, go to repot the sheets. today is a new day um i kind of gave up on yesterday because i just wasn't in a good space mentally yesterday and i thought that me pretending to be in a good space will put me like in a good space if that makes sense like me wanting trying to put myself in a mental space where like i want to record and i take bitches and all that stuff and i just like honestly gave up like real fast um yeah but um i'm now in one of my parents spare cars <laughs> and i'm about to go to my dad's job to go get him because i didn't want to do this by myself and my mom has to work as well i'm gonna go to the circuit court and uh, today's the day that we are filing for This is hard and I'm tired of like crying on camera so I don't do that but this is like really hard for me. Every day has been, ooh. <laughs> every day has been really hard. Um, yeah so we, I actually got married in Washington DC in 2014 July 31st 2014 but I'm a resident still of Virginia because of my driver's license so I should be able to file for a divorce here in Virginia because I haven't lived in in um, Georgia long enough and I don't want to travel all the way back to New York <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm about to do. Um, I'm about to go get me some Starbucks first to kind of like lift my spirit. Um, Cause I still have to wait for my dad to send me the address. sit down we need to talk or if we in situations where we have time to conversate mm -hmm. and I talk to you and I try to guide you and help you and all that kind of stuff you can't come back and say you know like you tried to hit me with that shit before about us putting you on a pedestal and all this kind of shit nigga get out of your get out get out of that shit that's not the fucking case that's my daughter so you know that whole woe is me and everybody against me and all that kind of fuck all that nigga you proving that you yeah. ain't shit you know, and I'm and I'm trying to give you the been trying to give this shit the benefit of the doubt because this is what my daughter wants. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I kind of that's why I had to back off the shit because I'm like this shit is not gonna change until you decide that you didn't have enough. You know what I'm saying? And then I can make the moves and do what I need to do because I'm not gonna you know like I said I wasn't trying to put myself in 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 jeopardy 
my livelihood, my job, my my fucking, you know, my freedom, you know, that kind of shit. Fucking with a motherfucker like that because I already know how it's gonna have to go down. If you can't communicate and deal with my daughter without putting your hands on her, then you don't need to deal with her. You know what I'm saying? Straight the fuck out. And, you know, he, and he even tried to hit me with that pedestal shit that day and I told him the same. That's when I told him that shit. You know, like, dude, that's my fucking child, man. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna fucking take, go against my daughter for you. No. I'm adult enough, mature enough, old enough to be able to gather the information and make my own assessment. And if you're wrong, you're wrong. Because like I said, I'm gonna fuck if she cuss you out, call you a punk motherfucker, whatever the fuck the case may be. Mm-hmm. You still need to restrain yourself and not put your fucking hands on it. You can cuss her out, <laughs> yeah. you can leave, you can do all kinds of shit, but don't put your fucking hands on it. But you know, he's, just, he's a fucking, he's an idiot. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, you fuck me. Fucking idiot, man. Did you want, you want me to just drop you off in the car? It don't matter. I can walk to the car. It don't matter. Hold on. Hold on. That motherfucker's here. Okay. He likes you. Hmm? He thinks you're beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's a nice guy, bro. He's not for you. Mm-mm. I don't even know him, but I can, I can feel it in my soul. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You gotta leave the signs down with it. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so that did not go as planned. Um, me and my father went into the circuit court. We went to the circuit court's clerk office, and um, she basically told me that they do things a little differently here in Virginia. So when I was back in New York, um, that was when I was originally looking to really get a divorce back in what 2019. And um, I'm allowed to go to the courthouse and file for a divorce myself. My hiccup was I wasn't a resident of New York long enough, so I had to wait. And during that wait in period time, you know, you know, we're, you know, oh, we can make things work and oh, da da da, I love you, da da, you know, all this stuff. stuff. Uh, long story short, never file for a divorce. So. Blah. I can't file for a divorce in New York because I'm not a New York resident anymore. I can't file for a divorce in Atlanta because I'm not a Georgia State resident. I haven't been there for like, I have, you have to be there for six months. And I'm not trying to wait that six month time period because I remember the last time I waited and yeah. So I came here to Virginia because I'm technically still a resident in Virginia because it's my driver's license. So yeah, she says that the clerk tells us that they do things differently and they don't provide the paperwork so i have to go online and go through a certified third party or get my lawyer to do it to file the paperwork for me um so that kind of sucks because you have to if you do it online you have to pay a third party to file your paperwork for you or to do your paperwork for you then you have to come back to the clerk's office turn in your paperwork to actually file and that's another fee and then you have to pay another fee for them to serve him the papers because it's not like we're on speaking terms or we live in the same state where we can just be like or I could just be like here here's the papers can you sign this for me so we can get a divorce I have to have them served so yeah that's just very freaking frustrating and time consuming and it's just I guess coming from an immature standpoint, I'm just exhausted and I get so upset and so angry because I'm like, why I gotta do this? Why I gotta go through all of this and do all of this work on the back end? Like, why I gotta be the one to do it? And I know I'm not supposed to be thinking that, but I just can't help how I, how, how I feel right now. But regardless of how I feel gotta put my big girl panties on and do what I gotta do so I just um just left my dad's job and um I'm at uh, girl get it together I'm at yard house right now and uh, I'm about to give me some lunch and probably a drink (laughs) and I'm gonna sit down and just do my research I'm gonna sit down and um, 
find two different web certified websites and look at their reviews and look at their costs and then I'm going to um, before people offices close because I know it's Friday and people want to get work early I'm going to call around and find at least three different you know like lawyers and kind of like do a small chat with them and get their rates and fit and, and then take all this information back and uh, when my dad gets off work, we're gonna go over everything and just talk about what is the best, um, what's the best, you know, option. Like, what's the best route for for me to take to take care of all of this. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to go to New York house, eat, and kind of like decompress my mind right now because I'm like very emotional, and then. Um, gather up my information so yeah this week has been hard like i want to do the weekly vlogs and stuff but this week itself has been really hard um for me to like focus it's been hard for me to focus on content it's been hard for me to focus on school oh my god it's been hard for me to focus on i was supposed to be creating content and and um you know advertising templates for nlsa wigs and me opening up my books again for november and i've just been so distracted and emotionally drained and frustrated and my mood swings has been like extremely bipolar and i've just a bitch just going through it um I was talking to one of my friends um, yesterday, and <laughs> they, well, I wasn't really doing the talking. They were doing most of the talking, and, you know, I guess they just could, like, see my face and read me, um, and they just advised me to just, like, let it all out. They was like, have you had a good cry? I was like, what do you mean? Like a good cry, like a, and it was like, have you had like a good cry, like a, like sobbing cry? And I was like, no, not like that, like no. And he was like, uh, maybe you should. That'll like release like all your energy and stuff. And he was like, you know, and it's okay. It was kind of cool to hear this. It, I don't, I don't even know if I want to say this, but. It was kind of cool to hear um, this from a guy's perspective that's not your dad or not your best friend, you know, just like an unbiased like perspective. He's just like, you know, um, you know, it's OK if you still love him. Right. And I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, I'm just letting you know that it's OK that if you feel like you still love him and i'm looking like bitch what <laughs> but i had to really think about it because you know you feel like you're supposed to hate the person that has done this to you you know um that has like that has hurt you you're supposed to hate this person that has hurt you in this manner um and i've been trying to like psych myself to really feel that way like oh i hate this person because i really wanted it to work and we could have worked and talked through anything but i can't keep allowing this motherfucker to keep putting his goddamn hands on me i can't sit here and allow this motherfucker to break my goddamn jaw because i love him so much so yeah i had tried i wanted to psych myself to really think that i really hate him because accepting the fact that you still love this person is like even more uh painful to admit but you know when he said that he's like it's okay if you still love him like when he said that it is okay to feel that way it made me kind of be like well damn i can stop beating myself up now <laughs> i know i still love this person i know i don't want to be with this person and i also want to see consequences and repercussions for what you did what you what what you did um i don't know what that means 
can somebody help me i don't know i don't know what i don't know what that means i don't i don't even know what i'm rambling about right now i know i just need to take my ass inside and take care of my business and afterwards try to get a picture of my outfit because i walked out the house my mom was like oh i like your outfit and i was like right really she was like yeah i was like it was funny because i was looking in the mirror and i was like when i was put my clothes on i was looking in the mirror like damn i'm about to go to the courthouse looking like i'm about to go to jail y'all see my outfit in a second <laughs> But see, that's that Gemini. That's that Gemini. <laughs> oh, sad one moment, laughing the next. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm about to go in here and take it home. Talk right now. We might actually all be going to dinner and um, Halloween is this weekend. I don't have any plans for this weekend um, yet, but hopefully I get invited somewhere. Um, and I'm probably just gonna rewear last year's, <laughs> one of my last year's Halloween costumes because I just have like not been like, in, I've been in a really, I've been in a funk. I feel like every time I turn around it's something, it's like, is always happening and expecting me in a goddamn face but hey that's life so um yeah i'm just gonna end the vlog here thank you guys for watching um if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and become a part of the kendrick folks family and i'll see y'all in my next vlog bye y'all <laughs>